From dominating the tennis courts to conquering the business world, Maria Sharapova's journey is a blueprint for entrepreneurial success. With five Grand Slam titles and a net worth of $220 million, Sharapova has seamlessly transitioned from a world-class athlete to a formidable businesswoman. But how did she do it? Welcome to FOS Explains. In this video, we'll dive into the untold story of Maria Sharapova's business empire. From her strategic investments to her successful ventures, we'll uncover the key moves that transformed her from a sports icon into a multi-million dollar entrepreneur. Sharapova's talent was evident early on. By age 17, she made history by defeating Serena Williams in the 2004 Wimbledon final. She became the first Russian woman to win the prestigious tournament. This was the first of five Grand Slam titles she'd win in her career. Her on-court success opened up a string of endorsements and business opportunities too, making her the highest paid female athlete for over a decade. Sharapova's commercial appeal extended beyond tennis. She signed huge deals with Samsung, Porsche, Head, and Evian, among others. But her biggest deal was with Nike. The $70 million deal lasted over a decade, and Maria Sharapova became the face of Nike's athletic apparel, even designing her own shoe and clothing line. Over her career, she earned over $35 million on the court, the fourth highest all-time, combined with 36 career titles. Beyond tennis, Sharapova landed an endorsement deal with cosmetics giant Avon. She became a regular at New York Fashion Week, attending events by designers like Vera Wang and Ralph Lauren and dazzling at the Met Gala. Swiss watch brand Tag Heuer made her a global ambassador, further boosting her visibility and personal net worth, which exceeded $380 million at its peak. Sharapova's career faced a setback in 2016. The International Tennis Federation suspended her for two years after a doping scandal. She contested the suspension and came back to tennis in 2017. In 2020, Sharapova retired with an estimated net worth of around $200 million. What you might not know, though, is that the Russian is still earning millions. How? Through her multi-million dollar businesses. In 2012, Maria Sharapova started on a new journey off the court, entrepreneurship. Drawing inspiration from her love of sweets, Sharapova put $500,000 into launching a premium candy company called Sugarpova. The inception of Sugarpova wasn't just a casual enterprise, it was a well-planned business venture. Initially, the brand faced criticism for marketing sugary candy to a young audience, but Sharapova kept going, and today, the company is valued at around $190 million. The company generates $20 million annually and sells sweets and premium chocolates in over 30 countries. Sharapova leveraged her global fame and social media presence to promote the brand, creating a strong market presence. The company's products were soon stocked in major retailers around the world, from high-end department stores to online retailers. Meanwhile, the Russian star was involved in every aspect of the brand, from product development to marketing strategies. This decision paid off as the company expanded its product line and distribution network, establishing a solid foothold in the competitive candy market. Today, the brand has grown significantly, with products available around the world. Her success with Sugarpova allowed her to partner with the National Association of Women Business Owners, NWABO, in 2018, where she mentors other female entrepreneurs. Maria Sharapova has transformed from a tennis legend into a leading businesswoman, making more money than ever. But her candy brand is just one of the businesses that she's been managing, and the others prove why she's become one of the most prominent female investors in the world of sports. Since retiring from tennis, Maria Sharapova has been serving as a board member for prestigious brands like Montclair. Beyond candy, Sharapova has diversified her investment portfolio, backing wellness and beauty brands like Balabangles, Therabody, and Sugar Scoop Sunscreen. Just last year, her investments in Happiest Baby and Therabody yielded a significant profit after both brands earned spots on the prestigious Time 100 Most Influential Companies list for 2023. Sharapova's active involvement in these ventures underscores her influence and reinforces the value of supporting enterprises with transformative potential. Sharapova also has a knack for design and architecture. In 2021, she forged a strategic partnership with Rove, a furniture company known for its designs. This collaboration was critical for her post-tennis career. In the long run, Rove benefited immensely from Sharapova's endorsement, but Rove was not the only company to benefit. In 2020, Maria Sharapova made a guest appearance as an investor on Shark Tank, 
During her time on the show, she showed how selective she is in terms of business and investing, turning down more offers than she accepted. In the show's opening segment, Sharapova outmaneuvered the other sharks to partner with billionaire Mark Cuban. Together, they invested $900,000 for a 30% stake in Bala, a company that manufactures wearable weights and fitness products. Given her track record, it's clear that Sharapova will continue to explore and participate in numerous other business ventures in the future. But not every deal ends up as a good investment. One example is her investment in Tonal, a broader strategy to diversify her portfolio into health and wellness startups, leveraging her athletic background and fitness expertise. In May 2020, the NPD group reported a significant surge in fitness equipment sales, with a 130% increase. This rise in sales brought a long list of brand name exercise equipment for celebrity investors to choose from. Amidst these options, Sharapova decided to invest in Tonal. Sharapova joined a roster of high-profile athletes, including Michelle Wee West, Serena Williams, and Steph Curry as a Tonal investor. However, despite its initial success in innovative technology, Tonal is now facing challenging times as a part of an industry-wide slump. The company has been experiencing a decline in revenue and has recently announced job cuts as part of its efforts to stabilize and restructure. Tonal is seeking to raise capital at less than a third of its previous valuation and is considering replacing its chief executive officer, or CEO. Current discussions suggest a valuation of $500 million or lower. That's a significant drop off from its earlier valuation of $1.9 billion. Even though this is bad news for investors, including Sharapova, it's probably not going to cause a serious dent in her wallet or her $220 million net worth. But what do you think? What was Sharapova's best business move? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth sports business stories.